Okay, let's see how it works the arms. The way that the arm works is the same way of the planets. But instead to use the target control, I use another target for each arm. This way, I can create an animation with the arm using these targets. So, to connect the arm to this target, what I did was, first, I connected the group of the hand using a translation constraint, selecting these new targets, and 10% for the strength. And the reason I use this value is because I want that this uh, arm move a little when the cursor moves. And second, next to the hand group, there is another target, control hand. And I use this target to connect the different part of the arm, using translation constraint with different strength values. But like the planets, I need that the origin of these elements to be in the same position of the targets. This way, you can see I use for the forearm 80% for the strength, for the arm 60%. And for the shoulder, 40%. So, when I move the control, the hand moves more than the shoulder, creating this effect. To create the light effect for the arm, what I did was duplicate the shape and change the color to white, move the origin to the same position of the targets, and use a translation constraint. But here, the key is, if the forearm use 80% for the strength, the light use 75%. If the arm use 60%, the light use 55%. And if the shoulder use 40%, the light use 35%. This way, all the shape move less, creating the light effect. And that's it. In the next video, we're going to see how works the light effect on the helmet and the reflection of the character.